kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part three of my video series on audio video calling app using Firebase in Android Studio. All right, guys. So, in, uh, in our part two of our video series, we had done the we had uh, written the manifest file. Uh, the permission for the manifest file and then we uh, integrated some libraries which we are which we are going to use so now in this video we are going to connect our application to the firebase so let's begin so here what are we are going to do is first of all you have to go to your firebase.google.com and from there you have to select your gmail account so in my case i will be using the uh, this one my this account and I will click on go to console and when you are into the console here you have to add the project so here we will add the project and here we have to specify our project name so we can say audio video call all right then we will click on continue and here it is asking us for enable google analytics so we have to disable it because we do not need the analytics because we are only learning this the concepts uh, behind the chatting app uh, and it also includes the audio and video calling so after this project is created then i will show you how we can connect the firebase with our application so here now the next step is get started by adding firebase to your app so we have to select the middle one that is android and it will ask us to input our android package name so in order to have your package name what you are going to do go to your build.gradle file and here this will be your package name all right so if you want to change your package name so i can also tell you so now go here and click on uh, uncheck this compact middle packages after you uncheck it, it then you go here comp.example.rd video calling app tutorial so if suppose if i want to change this example so what we i have to do is i will click on right click here then i will go to refactor and i will click on rename and here it will be if it asks you this then click on rename package okay then here instead of example we can write app simple okay then i will click on refactor and this one will be changed to okay it is not changed because uh, in our in our latest version of android studio it does not uh, update it so in order to update it then you have to click again the compact uh, middle name and from there you will see that here we have com.app. video calling app suppose if we uncheck it again and there you are able to see this com.app everywhere all right and the another step which we have to follow our in order to change our package name is here inside our build dot bit dot greater file you will see that this is the example is already there so and so you have to remove remove it and just write app here because we changed it here okay so now you have to click on sync now and now your package name has been changed successfully okay <laughs> So this was the way of changing your package name. So now we have to uh, uncheck uh, or oh, sorry, uh, check it again. So here everything is fine now. All right. So now we just have to copy this package name and we have to paste it here. And let's rename our uh, app as video calling. All right. And click on register app. so after you click on the register app now you have to download the google services dot json file so click on there and there you can see we have this file here just you have to copy it and then open your project then go to your android view and select project view and here uh, go here and inside this application folder click on paste and here it will ask you for the google services okay so make sure that it is only 
this name okay so click on refactor and now your uh, the file has been added successfully fully so now you can again go back to android view okay so now again come to the firebase console click next and here it is saying to uh, project level directory so we have to uh, copy it here and we have to paste it so here we open it and here we can paste it like this then the another step which we have to use uh, it, it is complete now here we have to use uh, write this uh, apply plugin so we just copy it and we come here and we paste it here all right now we again click on sync now so in this way we have the these two lines added in our project and the final is we have to import the boom firebase so just copy it and go to your dependencies and here we can paste it so here after we have pasted it now we can click on next and continue to so so now we can sync now here again and yes so the next step is we have to enable the authentication so i go here and we can just click on get started and from there we have to select this email and password so we have to enable it and click on save this is done and now we have to click on real time database so i click on it and then we are going to click on create database and may select this one click next and make sure that to start it in test mode okay then click on next all right and now the firebase database is also uh, initialized and it it is and it is also created so now we are we have successfully uh, added the firebase into our project so another thing which we have to uh, add is the android boom for the let me show you so now we can add the dependencies for the for the google authentication and for the google database so for this we can write inside our build dot gradle and we can say implementation com dot google dot firebase firebase auth and similarly for the database we can say implementation com dot google dot firebase database firebase database so now if we click on sync now so yes now the firebase libraries have successfully added and there you can see firebase auth and we have the firebase database here all right guys so that was it for now so we will start working uh, the on our in the next part of the video series so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel and uh, here what we okay so we can update it so change to 4.1.3 i will click on sync now again so a brief recap of the first three lectures which i have given you so first of all we created the project and then i we just wrote all the uh, the user permissions which our application is going to use then we added some dependencies here 
like the butter knife then we added the card view then material design library and finally we added the firebase here and after this we created the firebase app inside our uh, firebase console okay so now the next step is uh, then we can start working on our on our application and that will be our main screen or the main activity so we will start working on that in the next part of the video so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and good